Welcome back. The Let It Snow promo is officially here, and I'll be showing you guys everything you should be doing right now throughout it. So let me get straight into it. Starting off with the six new mythic players Luke Keekley, AJ Brown, Grady Jarrett, Penny Sewell, Josh Allen, and Ryan Stonehouse. We have some pretty good solid players. Every player throughout Madden Mobile 24, throughout the promos and or field passes should all get mythics now, which is pretty interesting. I mean, knowing now that we can just grind for one player and then get its mythic card instead of being like, oh, we can only get the foil is actually kind of nice. But then again, will it ruin it for the free to play players? Only time will tell. Let's get into Let It Snow. The cold front has arrived with a new 152 overall Let It Snow players. Choose a difficulty on your path and earn tokens to obtain the Let It Snow players using event stamina. You can also purchase the exclusive snow VIP event pass. If you want to, you don't need to, obviously. And you can, you know, get extra rewards and whatever. But it is $30. It is all up to you. Also, if you acquire snowballs daily, you can build the snowman on the reward little map. And then, you know, get some extra rewards, which is nice. Now, let us know ends 12.15 at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Let's head straight into it. I'm going to start off with the events, then go into the trades. And then, you know, everything else that is in the Let Us Know promo. So, we have the easy, medium, and hard events. Easy, no minimum overall required. So, you'll get daily rewards of just basically coins, regular base players, training points, and then 25 plus snow tokens. You're going to want to hit medium. You need your overall 3,500 or better. It's going to be a must to do that because your daily rewards will require the same really as easy, but... The plus is you will get more snow tokens and you'll get as much as the hard stage. You'll get 360 plus snow tokens, the same as hard for 4,000 overall required to play. But the only thing about the hard stage is you do have chances of the snow player. So that is like the one better thing of the events. But remember, it is a chance though. So medium is really where you'll sit and it is good, but there is rewards throughout it if you play throughout the whole entire event for each individual on easy you won't get you know the best rewards but it's nice you get like a name play and whatever medium rare player if you play through all the events and then the hard stage you'll get an epic player a free epic player which i think is the best one to go so if you guys want to activate that boost go in and do that i honestly think it will be pretty solid for you guys to activate boost and it wouldn't be a bad thing really if you want to activate it once the you know fuel pass ends so you can activate your boost you can play the next fuel passes journey rewards because you want to increase your overall go for it i mean it's all up to you and i think that would be the best bet just to get your overall high claim that free epic let it snow player and then also get some other rewards throughout the game i think that's a really good thing to do so easy you'll get that uh blizzard nameplate and then medium you get the rare player and then hard you'll get the epic player and if you do play throughout the events every single day at 10 30 a.m eastern if you throw for 75 yards and rush for 75 yards you'll get an uncommon player pack at reset which is a must play the events before you auto it so you can get your daily rewards you don't want to miss out on that that is just missing out on extra rare players to then get you epics to then get you that iconic later on it will speed up your process and you won't regret it so i'm heading into the hard mode because i activated my boost i'm at 4,000 right now so I'm going to hop right into this and play throughout the event, which I only have two seconds left on the clock because I prepared for this. I went throughout the whole entire hard stage events and played throughout the last event. So it would be that simple. So I should just be able to kick a field goal and win it right now. I was literally about to run, which would have been terrible. Let's not miss this field goal. Two, one, boom, easy win. Blizzard. Mountaineer, I like that. We get the 60 snow tokens, which is nice. And then we will get our 121 epic let it snow player, which is nice. Let me claim this right now. And let's see who I get. Out of all the iconic players, which epic will I get for it? So here we go. New update team. Luke Keekly. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. I honestly do like Luke Keekly out of all of them. And he will be my go-to player if the other drops aren't good. That's actually nice that I got his epic player. That's fantastic. So if you guys don't want to boost and don't want to go to the epic, which I think you should just to get the epic player because it is free. It's sitting there and all you have to do is activate boost, you know, claim your ways, claim your coins. You can activate it later. As I said, when the next fuel pass does end, if you want to, you know, boost up your overall for rewards and that's the smartest thing to do. But this is really where you should sit at because it is the same amount of snow tokens as hard. But then again, you know, 
just do it for the one time on the hard stage get the epic if you go back to this you get the rare obviously you'll play throughout these events and it will be like the same thing really throughout it all which is uh pretty nice everyone should be at least a 3500 overall or more so this should be good for everyone because the snow tokens is the same for the hard stage which is fantastic before it usually wasn't like that it was usually if your overall was higher you got the one up not really for this one which is good news so that's great to see now let me go over to the trades and show you guys which ones you should be doing now when you play throughout the let it snow events and you get the snow tokens you'll put them in towards the uncommon players take the uncommon players and put them into the core trades where you'll get the rare players and then the epic players now for the uncommon trades all you guys have to do is put your snow tokens in to the 95 uncommon snow token trade for one but remember we got sliders with the update so you guys can just slide it in and get as many as you want to now there is no more 5x uncommon trade and or 5x plus uncommon trade for a bunch of tokens you either go ahead and get the regular uncommons with the slider or you get the uncommon plus ones with the slider either or now you can get a bunch of players at your own speed which is cool no more oh i need to get that much tokens for either of the five x's so there you have it that is cool with the little update that is going on then when you go in and get the snow tokens get the uncommons put them in towards the player collector seven specific ones for two rares i honestly think that's the best one to do right away obviously you gotta like wait it out and i advise you guys to wait it out so you can go ahead obviously build up a bunch of uncommons and then put them in towards the rares because seven for two is great you are saving three because over here if you put five and five that is ten uncommons for two rares and you're wasting three so it's better to do the seven for two and also if you don't have an uncommon you can play throughout the events hopefully pull one or go over here and there's uncommon select and then you can select them it's 135 for one uncommon to select but remember make sure you just play throughout the game first and don't select because it's a lot to select one uncommon it's 135 for one when you basically can get them for 95 for one but it is at random or you can hopefully pull that player if you don't have it now when you go in and get your rares you're going to put them in towards the epic trade you always want to do the random epic trade first which is five rares for one epic why is that it's because you need three random epics for an iconic player and i'm going to set an example with this luke keekly so basically we have three randoms that we need and all you have to do is just play throughout the game and put your rares into the epic trade at random do it once do it twice do it another time three times in total hopefully you pull one of that player that you needed for the example i said luke keekly so hopefully you pull that luke keekly maybe once or twice and if you don't then you don't then you have to move over to the select because you already got your three randoms and then again if your overall is a four thousand overall then you get a free epic on the hard stage but hopefully you pull that player that you needed or maybe you just got another random but then again it's nice make sure you do the random first then move over to the select because it just makes sense why would you get the selects first when you could just do the randoms for two less rares because the selects are seven rares for two epics now that is really it for the trades obviously you'll get your iconics you put them in for the foils and then select the mythic there will be more drops so i advise you guys to wait please be patient it will help you in the long run throughout the promo 100 percent now let's move into the store which i honestly will give you guys a little tip with the let it snow promo we do have certain low manic cash offers and other stuff i mean there is the vanity tokens for the cosmetics and stuff i advise you guys if you have the watch ad to get your 50 event stamina right here 100 mana cash for the snow token pack that is 100 snow tokens for 100 mana cash and you guys need to spend 100 mana cash every single day for your daily goals so go ahead and get that pack for 100 mana cash you'll get your 100 mana cash goal completed plus another daily goal is claim a pack from the store i don't know if that's a pack but then again you could just buy a pack from the store as well but make sure you get your six out of six completed because there's also these let it snow points the let it snow pass does have some rewards in it i mean the packs are the best thing that are in the whole entire pass which the first pack right here you have a chance at the epic and iconic which is fantastic if you do pull i mean a rare would be nice but i mean two uncommons is pretty good and then you get a bunch of currencies and whatnot the 
program stamina is great for the events so you can go ahead and get more snow tokens i mean everything is nice man now that's gonna do it for the let it snow promo guide and breakdown or whatever you want to call it i just basically went over everything that you guys need to know for the whole entire promo i love the art to this promo the snowflakes falling is amazing the snow in the background is also amazing to see everything is nice i love christmas the theme is fantastic i hope you guys did enjoy and also just before i end there is the let it snow album which you can go ahead click on that and see that we have a Devin hester collectible you'll be able to get his other two collectibles throughout the arctic blitz fuel pass that comes december 4th at 10 30 a.m eastern throughout the fuel pass milestones and also throughout the ultimate freeze promo that should drop december 15th at 10 30 a.m eastern and then that's basically all the collectibles that you need for Devin hester and then you can go ahead and get his free card don't know his position should be a kick returner maybe not but then again you know that's another free card plus don't know his overall as well we got to wait and find out for all that plus i like the album because you get to see every single card up front instead of going like trade to trace you can just click on everything and check the cards out the base iconics are 142 the foils are 146s and the mythics are 152s and also if you claim five players it can be either five epics or four epics and iconic whatever if you claim five of that you will get that devin hester collectible the hand warmer and also down here if you claim all the uncommons and rares you get this chili nameplate so yeah that's it hope you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you in the next one peace